Hey everyone and welcome to the seventh episode in my Crossy Road tutorial series. Today I will be making it to where you can actually choose between different skins because right now all you can play as is this little chicken. But before we get into the video make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Oh and while you're at it make sure to leave a comment down below. I would be happy to read through them. But anyways let's get right into the video. So today we only have one new sprite and it is called skin unlocked message and in the costume all it is is just costume one i'll go ahead and rename that to unlocked and it just says new skin unlocked that is it then in the player i've designed a bunch of brand new skins so like you've seen we have chicken one then chicken two which is blinking and chicken three which is squash i have three other skins that have all the same three costumes so i have duck duck two and duck three then cat cat two and cat three and last but not least scuba chicken scuba chicken two and scuba chicken three so make sure you follow that order the first one is the normal one, second one is blinking, and third one is squished. And in the player skin description, I have a few new costumes. So all I have is chicken one, which we've already had in the past. It just says the description of the chicken. Then I have chicken two and chicken three, which are blank. Next, I have duck one, and it just is a description of a duck. Then duck two, which is the locked version. So it says locked, and then what we have to do to unlock it. Then duck three is blank. Cat one, which is literally just just a description of a cat and cat 2 which is the description of what you have to do to unlock it then cat 3 is blank and it's the exact same thing for the scuba chicken scuba chicken 1 is the description scuba chicken 2 is the what you have to do to unlock it and scuba chicken 3 is blank so the very first thing is i would like to make a brand new variable and name this skin selected and that can be for all sprites and now we'll go ahead and scroll around until you find this script right here and i'm going to go ahead and drag this over here because we have a lot of editing to this script to do. First things first, repeat 10 times and do switch costume to skin selected. Then let's go ahead and set the skin selected to 1 right here in the title screen underneath this set game over to title and because it's one it's going to switch costume to the first costume because the number is one right there now we can go ahead and do the repeat 10 times there duplicate this if else right here and change this to if game over is equal to title which means we are on the title screen do blank for now and put everything else in the else part next we are going to switch costume to skin selected and if we start over you can see that nothing has changed now what i want to do is make it to where for this blinking and stuff it doesn't switch to a specific costume like it does now it switches costume to chicken three chicken two and chicken one i wanted to switch costume to a costume that references off of this so you can kind of imagine how we would do this so right now this is one if we want to do chicken three then we can just do the costume plus two because it's one then plus two is two and then three which means this is squash and that means that if it's say seven which is a cat if you do plus two it is also the squished cat so that is why it's very important that you follow that same format of the normal the blinking and then the squash so now for the if game over equals to yes and switch costume to skin selected plus two chicken two switch costume to skin selected plus one then just switch costume to skin selected so now let's go ahead and start this game and start hopping you should see that all the animations are correct as you can see our character just blinked I'll wait a little bit so you can see it again. There you go. It blinked and let's see the squashing to make sure that it worked. That is working. Now another way we can test this is in the very beginning is set the skin to another's costume. So let's do the duck. So the costume number right here is four. Let's set the skin selected to four. As you can see now it has a duck and if we go ahead and go we should see that it still blinks. There we go. And it should be switching to the right squish costume see there you go so the only thing is did you see that when we died it switched to the costume and then switched to the duck so here is why as you can see when we do the define game over particle amount and all that stuff it switches costume to chicken three instead we can just do switch costume to skin selected plus two so now we should see that it doesn't blink into the chicken so now if we get hit 
boom, instantly the right costume. Set that back to one already. For now, I think we are done in the player. So go ahead and click onto the title screen and make a brand new block. Name this one button. You can do run screen without refresh if you'd like. Next, go ahead and go into the player and pull this touching mouse pointer, all of this stuff, and pull that into the title screen and put that onto the button. Then we want 110 and 100, then divided by two and divided by five. Now for the left and right rotate buttons, put the button on the very bottom. So now you should see that when we hover over the buttons, it gets bigger and that looks nice. Okay, so now let's do a when I start as a clone underneath this, a forever loop if statement game over equals title and touching mouse pointer and mouse down if all of that is true then we're going to check if the clone id is equal to you can go ahead and just copy this right rotate button right here and we're going to actually change this to an if else so if it's equal to a right rotate button else then a normal if statement in there if clone id is equal to left rotate button now we can go ahead and do wait until not mouse down which means we've let go of our mouse button. Underneath here is going to be the scripts where we scroll through the skin. So let's make a new variable called skin scroll direction, like so, for all sprites. And you can go ahead and for the right rotate button, set the skin scroll direction to right or just R if you'd like. Then you can go ahead and broadcast and wait and change this to broadcast skin scroll like that. Next, duplicate all of this and do L for the left button. So now you should see that this skin scroll direction here, if we press the right button, it goes to right. And if we press the left button, it goes to left, which is correct. Now let's go ahead and head back into the player. So do a when I receive skin scroll. Now do an if else statement skin scroll direction equals to right and make sure you do r if you did r on the other one it has to be the same and set the skin selected to costume number plus three which if you remember because of our format if you are on the chicken and you take it plus three that would be one two three which is a new one then if you did it again it would be one two three because we only want to show the main costumes of these sprites we don't want to show all of these ones when we're rotating through the skins else then we can go ahead and just do minus three so if we press the right as you can see look at that it's rotating through the skins if we press the left it goes through the left button make this look better first things is if it's equal to right turn 15 degrees otherwise turn 15 degrees counterclockwise then we can just do change size by negative 50 on the very bottom like so so now you should see that it looks a lot better when we scroll through the skins it does a nice little tilt and it looks very good so this is where it's all coming Coming together now if we go ahead and just press W because of the stuff we did last time now look at whatever skin we're on it automatically switches to the right costume and if we get hit boom everything is correct so that is where this is coming together awesome because of how we've set this up so far so now let's go ahead and make the description match costume because as you can see when we rotate through the costumes it doesn't match all we need to do is right here in this switch costume to chicken one and just change this to switch costume to to selected skin selected and as soon as we do this as you can see now when we rotate through the costumes it actually matches so weird chicken cat scuba chicken chicken everything matches perfectly and just make sure that you keep that format like i explained earlier in the video the chicken one then the blank blank then the next one is just the description requirement and then a blank so now let's make it to where you actually have to unlock these skins go ahead and make a brand new list in the player and name the skins unlocked and in this when green flag clicked right here go ahead and delete all of that new list so skins unlocked next you can go ahead and add thing to that skins unlocked and change that to chicken one which is our first costume so this is going to be a list that keeps track of all the skins that we've unlocked make a new variable and, and name this unlock current skin with a question mark too then find this if else title 
disable all that stuff and go ahead and do an if else right here skins unlocked contains costume name then we're going to clear the graphic effects set the brightness effect to negative 100 that way it's blacked out so you can't see it and set the ghost effect to 15 so it's slightly transparent and go ahead and put that in right there next go ahead and if it is does contain all of that then we're going to set the unlocked current skin to yes otherwise we're going to set it to no so now as you can see when we hover over all of these other ones it actually is black so we can't see what they look like now we need to make the costumes down here actually switch to the ones where it says lock so in the player skin description we're going to use that variable that we just used to detect that so if the unlocked current skin is equal to yes or the y and switch costume to skin selected otherwise switch costume to skin selected plus one so now when we hover over this it says lock score more than 25 points this one lock score more than 100 points so make sure when you add this item into the list that it matches the costume name otherwise it won't work so now let's go ahead and just test this out and see if we can unlock a new skin so go ahead and hover over whatever skin you'd like so like this duck let's type in add duck one and add duck one to skin unlocks and boom right there all of the costume changes as you can see you can see it now and it actually says the description and we can play with it so what you want to do is find this wait until key w press and just do if the unlock current skin is equal to yes or the y now as you can see we can still play with the chicken but if we try to go on this one it won't let us play if you can hear me pressing w so make sure you are in the player and go ahead and make a new custom block and name this unlock skins with a question mark next we can go ahead and run this every time we jump so unlock skins right underneath this right here so it checks every single single time we jump. So now we can go ahead and do an if statement and do if the score is greater than 25, which is remember our first skin, add duck one. Once again, make sure you copy the exact costume name to skins unlocked. And now let's make it to where it doesn't do it again once we've already unlocked the duck. So if not, skins unlock contains duck one because that means that we've already unlocked it now duplicate this and do score greater than 100 and just do cat one and make sure you copy that and do not contains cat one right there so now you can go ahead and run this and test this out so right now start the game we do not have a duck so let's go ahead and play as our chicken okay we're getting lots and lots of score let's go ahead and try to get to 25 so we should have unlocked it so get hit here go to the title screen and look at that the duck is there but nothing else is here and now we can play with this duck but there's no really way to tell uh, that you unlocked a skin besides going to the title screen so that's where we want to add this skin unlocked message right here so it says new skin unlocked go into the skin unlocked and do when i receive update a go to to negative 130 and y can be anything you want then go into the player and find this one right here this cosine all that stuff and pull that into the skins unlocked message and put that in the y now we can do minus 150 then we can do times 150 right here and then we can do a go forward five layers then go into back into the player and do this change size by algorithm right here and then make sure you do divide it by two instead next we can do a win green if I clicked a hide the block and now we can do a when I receive a new message and name this one skin unlocked which is going to play every time we unlock a new skin then we're going to change size by 25 clear graphics effects so it doesn't have anything and then show wait five seconds and then it'll go away so let's make an animation for that repeat 10 times change y by negative 5 and change the ghost effect by 10 then go ahead and hide so let's go ahead and just click on this so to see what it looks like boom it says new skin unlocked goes up and down looks like it's in sync with the title screen and then it fades away so that is good and actually i just thought of something it's not going to actually go to this change y by negative five because of this cosine algorithm so you can get rid of that i don't know why i put that there do broadcast the skin unlock right here 
on the cat one in the player and the duck one. So now let's go ahead and test this out. So now we should see that once we get more than 25 points, as you can see, boom, it says new skin unlocked and that will just let us know that. Okay, so now we have a way to unlock the duck and the cat, but what about the scuba chicken? So this one's a little bit different. If we go ahead and find the scuba chicken right here, it says jump in the water with the chicken. So this takes a little bit more programming to do because it's not just a simple if scored greater than. If skin selected is equal to one. So if it's equal to one, then we can do a if statement. Oops. And, and then we can do an if not like over here. Go ahead and do not contains. Now this one I'm going to copy scuba chicken one right here. So now we can copy that. If it doesn't contain scuba chicken one, then we're going to add the scuba chicken one to two skins unlocked and broadcast skins unlocked. Now automatically as soon as we play the game as you can see it's gonna say new skin unlocked immediately and that's the scuba chicken but we only want this to happen if we're touching the water. So what you can do is go ahead and scroll around until you find this script right here if touching all that stuff. Duplicate that touching color and delete everything in it and put this over top of that like so. So now it'll only play if we have jumped in the water. So now we want to do unlocked skins right before stop the script on the if touching color all of that stuff. So now you should see that if we go until we find some water we should unlock the skin once we jump in. So here we go new skin unlocked. We go to the title screen scroll over and boom the scuba chicken is here which is one of my favorite skins. It just looks so cool. If we jump in the water using the duck we should not unlock the scuba chicken because it's only with the chicken. So let's jump in the water. And as you can see, we didn't get a skin message. And if we go over to scuba chicken, boom, it is locked still. You have to be with the chicken. And the cool part about this is as long as you stick with this little format, you should be able to keep adding them. So it's, let's just go through one right now. So let's do test one in the player. Let's just copy this duck one, say and paste it in here and make it something insane. Let's do a red right there and then there you go. That is our beautiful new skin. So now we duplicate this and make a blinking version. So there you go, you have a blink and now let's duplicate that one last time and make a squashed version. So there you go, you have a squashed version. So now already, once we start, as you can see, if we cycle through, right here is that new skin we have, but it does not have a description. So now we'll go into the player's skins description and then make a new costume and name it the same thing, the test one. Copy in one of the previous descriptions and I'm just gonna say test, and then the description is this is a test. And of course, you can make it look good. Then duplicate this, and remember the second one is the locked one, so it's gonna say locked, all that stuff, and then you have to jump and that's the description and then the last one duplicate it one last time and leave it blank so now you should see that once we cycle through it will have a description so it says locked you have to jump all we need to do is add the condition if score greater than one if the skins unlocked does not already contain test one then add test one and go ahead and put that on the end and now as you can see when we go ahead and jump it says new skin unlocked right there and let's go ahead and head into the title screen and you should see once we rotate through this boom it has the test skin right here it says this is a test and we can even use it and watch this it'll blink boom and it'll switch to the squash animation right there so that is how easy it is to add a new skin i mean that's pretty cool isn't it i really hope that you guys think this is cool or it helps you and if it does then make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing but anyways this has been owen and i am out